coming up on C Shop TV. Jeez, too many hot tamales. I love like that. Hot tamales. <laughs> One of the beautiful things about job cash is you can actually do something that you love to do. I'm Eddie George. I'm Taj George. Check us out on C Shop TV. C Shop TV starts now. Robin Kay, and welcome to another episode of The Sea Shop, where entertainment, business, and giving back meet to bring you the latest in celebrity news and info you won't hear anywhere else. Today we have a celebrity couple. You know him as a Heisman Trophy winner and the many seasons he played in the NFL. You know her from the singing group SWV, and she was a very popular contestant on the hit show Survivor. So join me in welcoming our celebrity couple, because we're going to learn some things you don't know about them. Eddie and Taj George, welcome to the show. Welcome, thank you, thank you for having us. Yes. So I know you have so many followers out there, so you want to give a shout out to your Twitter followers, your Facebook Absolutely. followers. Everyone, hey, how are you? You can reach me on Instagram, social cam, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all at Taj George. Um, i Eddie George 27 on uh, uh, Twitter, yeah. Instagram is <laughs> two edge twenty seven or seven, I think. <laughs> and uh, I'm, listen, I'm not a socialite. When this it comes could be to why you don't. Yeah, you're trying to build stuff. your Getting followers. You got to get the yeah, name down first. Shirley. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I think he needs to tweet more than once a year. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I tweet every other month. Okay, yeah. well that's you know you're consistent. The problem I have with Twitter is this: you get a lot of Twitter thugs on there, oh, where they try to hide behind an icon yeah. and oh, gotcha. you know, talk like, oh, remember when you got hit by Everyone's Pittsburgh and all this? <laughs> uh, but who are you? You know, what's, right. what's your pedigree? What's your background? Right. Which, let me, how many yards did you rush for? <laughs> Zero. It's like, He's oh, okay. passionate. Yeah. I can so see. I, that's why I, I can't, I, it's hard for me to get involved. In I understand, <laughs> I understand. But you're there and people can follow oh, yes, you. Yes, they can follow Very me. good. Excellent. Well, now you guys have so much going on. I'm just amazed. You know, I'm so curious about Survivor because we haven't had a chance to talk about that even yes. even backstage. What was that like? Survivor, I can honestly firsthand say it's the realest reality show in the world. When they invited me to be on the show, they wanted an NFL wife. Mm -hmm. And I think they were looking for someone who was pritzy and girly, who want not want to get dirty. But I'm a tomboy from Brooklyn who's married to a, a, a rough football player who, and have nothing but boys in my house. So there was nothing I couldn't really handle out there. And, and it was it was it was hard. It was mm -hmm. so hard because everything is real. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's a television show. So right. once the cameras go off, you'll get food, you'll get water, you can go to the bathroom. The cameras never go off. They're on you wow. 24 hours a day. You are provided absolutely nothing. <gasps> and you have 12 other people trying to get rid of you. <laughs> so you're mm. hungry, you're frustrated, <laughs> you're <sighs> dirty. Everything wow. you can think of, it's very real. Believe Survivor because it's real. You're literally surviving. That's amazing. <laughs> Nothing about that seems appealing to me. You know, you know, it, being hungry and dirty uh, and <laughs> you would think it's a television show, right? You're only pretending to be hungry and right. dirty. No, no, it's a real deal. The first deal. thing he said to me is, "You stink." <laughs> <laughs> And you said, I love yeah. you too. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, Kisses. It was, a, it was definitely the real deals. I went down yeah. there for he was uh, my family visit. Family visit oh. and it was tough seeing her in that environment. I hate, hated to leave her as I felt like I was leaving my baby out there. Oh. But the um, it, yeah, was, uh, it was uh, quite a, the experience. And, and we stayed, I stayed in a bed and breakfast. And oh. it was basically uh, a shack. <laughs> that was made that day really and with a shower and a bed and there were like bugs and uh, toads coming up through the pipes Big toads. like welcome family walk. <laughs> toads that not hop but they walk. introduced themselves to you oh. no it was i mean so it was like look let me get out of here then make right. this visit and get, I, I i didn't want any parts he was like it. don't lay on the ground don't eat the food i'm like i'm surviving so wait if they do a celebrity one you're not you're not interested no nah, not at all <laughs> Uh, listen, I, look, I'll be the first one off the show. I, listen, I would slap Vote somebody to get off the show. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Vote me off. I, I hit somebody, I'm off. Put me on the island somewhere uh, where I can eat every day. I'm off. I, I, I'm the first one oh. off. No willpower. 
<laughs> I see, I see. Well, but lots of discipline, obviously. To, uh, yeah. to I mean, he would do way, way better than he thinks he would. I, yeah. I realized being out there for 37 days of the 39, there is absolutely nothing you can't do when you don't have a choice. Yeah. I had to survive out there. Yeah. I had to make it to the end. Even though there were days I wanted to get off, but I, I'm like, if I get off, I still can't get home. So I may as well right. stay here and right. fight it out. So exactly. I kind of put my mental brain together and, and kind of push through. But yeah, mm -hmm. there's absolutely nothing you can't do when you don't have a choice. I'm a Brooklyn girl. I learned how to fish. I learned <laughs> how to how to create my own toilet. I did it all. Wow. Not only that, she learned how to swim in a matter of weeks. For her entire adult <laughs> life, she didn't know how to swim until you she learned got, on the show no no I she learned before, before the show are yeah. you prepared here's, here's the thing she you know i tried to show her how to swim early in our relationship mm -hmm. didn't couldn't do this he the, was the, very he hold on hold on <laughs> but you know she go i go to the ymca and she says watch this <laughs> She does the backstroke like an Olympic swimmer. Wow. <laughs> I'm She's like, a fast learner. I said, what is I this? Can learn. 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 Oh. <laughs> you can do a lot of things on your back. <laughs> when you don't have a choice. Right, right, right. Well, um, you're no stranger to reality TV because yeah. you've had your own show. Yes. And what was that? like having that was cameras awesome, following you. Actually, I married a baller. It was a show about our relationship and yeah. how we make two careers work with mm -hmm. our family and, and everything else going on. And it was I think it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. We were really green. We had never done reality television before. So we we were thinking this people will be bored with watching what we do and how we live, but it was actually a really big hit and they played it for three years after after it had aired. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Because so many people were really in tune to our show. But it, it's definitely it was a wonderful experience because we got to look back now on a period of our life that'll never go away. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's on tape now, it's on Instagram, it's on mm -hmm. uh, iTunes. So you can always look back at the time I can see Eric when he was a baby Aww. and just everything. It, it was really a lot of fun and very organic. Well, you two look very fit, oh, like God, you keep in you. shape all the time. And uh, we do have our hot product specialist, Bonnabelle Sherman, if you uh -huh. want to invite her on. Yes, Bonnabelle, Bonnabelle come she's on She's going to talk to us about how we can stay lean. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, how are you? Hi. 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 It's nice to see you. Good to see you, too. I'm so yeah. glad to be here. So, um, you have some goodies. Yeah, yes. I do. And you guys are so fit, so you have a method to getting fit. But a lot of people struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're wondering what can I'm help that person. them. Oh, yes. yeah. I look fit, but I struggle <laughs> staying mm -hmm. fit. Yeah. yeah. She eats too many hot tamales. I like oh, that, hot is that tamales. What it is? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, doesn't hot things make you lose weight? That's I never so. I had no. a method to my madness. Ah. <laughs> Tell us about your But we, we have to let you add Instaline green coffee bean to your madness profile oh, there. Yeah, it's very interesting because, you know, it's a very hot item since it's been on one of those big uh, TV shows oh, yeah. with a famous the doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, <laughs> what I'm so happy about is Instaline has everything that that doctor recommended. Okay. There are a lot of products that are really subpar. But mm. Instaline really works. Mm -hmm. It met and exceeded the things that are needed for fat burning and weight loss. Mm -hmm. wow. That's pretty yes. And look at that. It is made in the USA. That's right. Which is awesome. important. Yeah. Because you, I mean, I know someone who runs a vitamin manufacturing company, mm -hmm. and they say that you can get stuff out of China that's not high quality. Right. So you have to be very, very careful where you're getting the ingredients right. from. Yeah. Quality control is really important. Uh -huh. And so that's why this is GCA, because they have a verified green coffee bean. Mm -hmm. um, that's what makes Instaline so special. Mm -hmm. And what's important is you don't want to just get a coffee bean that's subpar. It doesn't right. give you what you need. Right. Right. Because Instaline gives you 50% um, chlorogenic acid. Mm -hmm. That's what you need for the fat burning and the weight loss. Okay. And there are beans out there that are not that oh. strength. Can you make and so coffee you're out of that? Uh, <laughs> no, you, you know why you don't? It's very interesting. Green coffee bean is not roasted and you don't want it to be roasted. It's mm. a raw bean mm. and that's how you get the naturally Natural. occurring chlorogenic acid and antioxidants. It's state, yeah. That's right. It's, so, it's exactly? actually if you roasted it, you would actually reduce or kill the chlorogenic like, acid. Like most vegetables. Oh. Like yeah. if you cook red vegetables, it loses right. its nutrients, but if you eat it raw, it maintains yeah. exactly. the integrity of CF. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see on Instaline we have um, zero fillers, zero binders, zero that's artificial awesome. ingredients. And mm -hmm. that's wow. really and important. Fillers are huge. A lot of products have fillers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that aren't just yeah. 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 Stuff you don't need. Mm -hmm. That's and you don't want. Mm -hmm. um, and there are products that don't have a hundred percent green mm -hmm. coffee bean. Mm -hmm. 
you don't want that either. You want 100% mm -hmm. green coffee bean that's verified. Mm -hmm. That's Instaline. So, and they say that 45% chlorogenic acid is what you need for fat burning. Mm -hmm. Well, Instaline went above that. This is 50% chlorogenic wow. acid. So it, it exceeded that. And they also recommend that each pill be 400 milligrams. Well, mm. insulin did 425 milligrams mm. per pill. Yeah, so like you're, you can be sure that you're going to get the weight loss results that you want mm -hmm. um, if you're going to you know, invest in the product. Uh -huh. And then you, know, you add reasonable eating habits with it. And, uh, what is the shelf life? Like for this, is it a certain time period that most have? Most let's see. This bean, since it's, it is yeah. in its natural state. Yeah, usually every product has at least a year shelf yeah. life. Okay. Yeah, but I would think when you're trying to lose weight and get trimmer that you're going to be taking it every day. I would imagine, mm -hmm. like yeah. it's just something that well, you're, you're going to finish this bottle in a month. This is 60 right. capsules, okay. and you're taking two of them a day, mm. all right. which gives you 850 good. milligrams. Because yes. normally some products you have to take two every meal, which right. is like eight pills, mm -hmm. four. Oh. Eight pills mm -hmm. a day, which is a lot. There are some people who would choose to do, uh, you know, at each meal, but Instaline is so powerful and so well formulated mm -hmm. that they recommend you take two, which mm -hmm. gives you 850 milligrams, mm -hmm. at your heaviest meal. Mm -hmm. So if oh. lunch is your big meal, you're going to take two with a nice big glass of water, mm -hmm. okay. or if dinner is your biggest meal, then you'll take the two Makes with sense. a glass of water there. And what exactly is GCA? GCA is what makes you feel confident that this is verified coffee bean. Okay. If it is not GCA, you really don't know that you're getting 50% chlorogenic acid. Okay. You could be getting 25% oh. okay. mm, yeah. and then you're wondering, or one, mm -hmm. and yeah. you're wondering, why am I not losing weight? Mm. Uh. Because it wasn't a verified certified product. Mm -hmm. you, you must have a green coffee bean that says GCA. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then it's verified and you know. And made in the USA, oh, we good. have better quality control than like you pointed right. out, perhaps mm -hmm. some people don't feel confident in mm -hmm. getting something from China. How mm -hmm. was the quality control? Yeah. GCA also um, verifies their quality control mm -hmm. and the percentage because it's the chlorogenic acid that's all important here. Okay. So you mm -hmm. need to know that it's got that percentage and 50% is more than even the recommended. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the results. That's really important. Yeah. That results awesome. are I, I want to try it. Yeah. yeah. I'm the yeah, trier of all. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, you can wait. 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 When's we'll going to be your biggest meal? We'll give her that's caffeine, like, like have her hyper. No, that's very good yeah. point. Mm -hmm. uh, green coffee bean naturally has very little caffeine. Oh, it's the dark it. coffee bean <laughs> that has <laughs> the caffeine in it, but okay. not the green coffee bean. Mm -hmm. It has very minimal. So you're not jittery. Oh, you, good. You're not shaking, although you're taking something for weight loss. Mm -hmm. she, if that's she good. had caffeine in her system, she doesn't drink, smoke, or anything. She's natural. You go, girl. Like <laughs> I like it. The energy would go out the roof. Like <laughs> well, yeah. this is a good yeah. thing to add then because a green coffee bean is all natural mm -hmm. and it's raw as well. It's mm -hmm. a raw. So mm -hmm. what we're doing is taking the extract mm -hmm. that has the naturally occurring chlorogenic yeah. acid, mm -hmm. which is the fat burning and yeah. the weight loss, and also naturally occurring antioxidants, mm -hmm. yeah. which help in aging and make you feel better overall anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to try Isn't it a great now, product? Don't some companies substitute the green coffee bean for um, a different substance? Like, it starts with an E. You know the one that they... Uh, emulsify it? It's ephedrine. Don't oh, they normally oh. substitute? They can add it to it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll call that a proprietary blend where they uh, put oh, things in there. Proprietary and, blend. And, um, careful how I say this, I don't recommend that you get things that are proprietary because right. they're not telling you what's, what's in, it. in it. Yeah. You want something where you are seeing exactly what's in it and Instaline says mm -hmm. that it is just green coffee bean, right. 850 mm -hmm. milligrams. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no fillers. You're not guessing if mm -hmm. they added other things mm -hmm. right. um, like you mentioned. And you don't need it. Well, and I like the fact that they didn't just do what was recommended by the most popular doctor in America, but they're going above and beyond. That's right. right. You know, like... To ensure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That very popular doctor saw great results with 45% um, Mm -hmm. chlorogenic acid, but this is 50. Mm. And, and he did a great test and it was very mm -hmm. well rounded. So insulin is actually the answer to that. Mm -hmm. When you're searching for a green coffee bean, this is the one you want because it's GCA, which you must have for a verified bean. Mm -hmm. It's got the chlorogenic acid 
It has zero fillers, zero binders, and zero artificial ingredients. So Vonnebel, mm -hmm. where can I get this product? Well, it's really easy. You just go to Instaline.com. That's Instaline.com, and that's where you can get the finest green coffee bean. That's verified oh, yeah. for great weight loss. That sounds good. Yeah. Thank you so much My for coming pleasure. on the show. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that is amazing. I mean, this is the hottest thing. You're seeing it everywhere oh, now. I'm mm -hmm. excited. The green coffee bean. Yeah, yeah. And to not have any fillers and to be made in the USA. Well, and verified. Yes. I want to yeah. be able to verify anything I'm swallowing. Mm -hmm. I need to know. And not to have fillers in it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you too, you are involved with so much. And I know that you have an organization yes. that... Um, basically helps out people with domestic violence issues yes, in their life. Yes. And so can you talk more about that? Well, growing up, I was a victim of domestic violence. My stepfather was, uh, he had severe issues, drug addiction. Mm -hmm. He was phys physically abusive. And uh, he, he was very, very, I guess, torturous to my mother. He was mm -hmm. very brutal to her. So uh, growing up, I just wanted to be able to help people who went through some of the same things that I went through growing up. Mm -hmm. my, my mother and father both passed away at the age of 14, when I was 9 and 14. So mm -hmm. I literally had to go through life on my own. And after a childhood like that of domestic violence, watching my stepfather take everything from the house, beat mm -hmm. on my parent, beat mm -hmm. on my, my brothers and, and myself, it was hard to deal with at first, and I found myself falling into those same patterns. Mm -hmm. My first boyfriend was physically abusive. And after a while, you start to think, there's got to be a, a, a way to get out of this, this mm -hmm. circle that you're going through, this cycle. So I just started to, I read more of the Bible. I got mm -hmm. more into myself. I started to renew myself. And uh, when Eddie and I started dating, he had his foundation that fosters their artistic ability in kids. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was wonderful. And of course, everyone can relate to that. And there's so many foundations that help kids enjoy arts and, and mm -hmm. sports. I wanted to do something that was more personal to me. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I took over his foundation, I revamped it to um, to support women and children of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And with that foundation, my goal was to create a place where women and, ch and children could go to heal together. Mm -hmm. Because at this point, any child, male child over the age of 13 cannot go into a women's shelter. They're, they're considered wow. an adult or separate or too old to be in there with women and I guess small kids. Wow. And I think while that's a great uh, way to, to look at things, when you mm -hmm. think about families healing, you have mm -hmm. this child, this 13 year old boy, who's being separated from everything he knows and forced to deal with issues on their own. Mm -hmm. When domestic violence is it's a family issue, you mm -hmm. have to resolve that together. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to create a place where families can go and heal at once mm -hmm. together so they can move forward together, not mm -hmm. have some people move to forward as a group and others separated moving forward on their mm -hmm. own. Just that you can't heal as a family that way. Right. So visions basically now I go out and I speak to different shelters. I work mm -hmm. a lot with the YWCA in Nashville and the Domestic Violence Prevention Center of Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I speak to a lot of women about ways to get out of the rut, get out of the fear that mm -hmm. holds them back, mm -hmm. get out of the, the strain and uh, traps of feeling like they're not good enough and because what they went through is their fault. It's never mm -hmm. your fault when someone hits you. I don't care what a woman does. They are never be, they'll never be stronger than a man and men should mm -hmm. find other ways to deal with their issues opposed to hitting a woman. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of women who feel like they, they forced him, they made him, they provoked him, and that's not true. Mm -hmm. So we work with a lot of these women to get out of that mindset and help the children release the pain of watching it because mm -hmm. when you are helpless, you torture yourself because you mm -hmm. thought you could have done more when you yeah. couldn't. There was wow. nothing you could do without harming yourself. Mm -hmm. So we work with a lot of women and we uh, help them build their path and their strengths mm -hmm. and we can strengthen their weaknesses mm -hmm. and help them get on their feet again. Wow, that's amazing. Now I'm curious, do you find that a lot of these cases are involved with like drugs and alcohol? Does it seem to be that domestic violence is stemming from? You would be surprised. Abuse? A large number of women suffering from domestic violence come from affluent neighborhoods. You have really? doctors, lawyers, uh, <sighs> uh, Wall Street people who mm -hmm. are under so much stress to provide this large lifestyle and, and have all of mm -hmm. this money on hand and they end up taking it out on their women at home. Oh. So yeah, there are a lot of cases of drug abuse and, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, other physical issues that people are going through in the lower, uh, lesser affluent neighborhoods 
neighborhoods, mm -hmm. but the majority of the cases, ironically, come from the more affluent neighborhoods. I would have never guessed. Not Did you know either. that I before? didn't know that either. Yeah. No. That is crazy. You just always think about people who just don't have money and they're, they're struggling to right. make ends meet that men would, you know, take Broke, of, rich, everyone deals with the same issues. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So, well, I love your vision for someday having a place like that. Do they not have anything like that with the whole right, To this day, no. There are no places where you know, where uh, boys over the age of 13 can go into women's shelters. They're, they haven't created those. I haven't found them yet, but I'm really hoping to be able to yeah, build one to where uh, it could be the first of many. That's incredible. Well, we do have another supporter that's awesome. here. Yay. Um, so, would you like to bring them on? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. We have Rich hey. Rudner from Hello, Job Rich. Cash. Hello, Rich. Hello, Rich. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I am very excited to hear about this. <laughs> Working on it. So, can you tell us a little bit more, for those who are not familiar, um, about what Job Cash is? Certainly. Job Cash is a very unique program, mm -hmm. and it's unique because it will create millions of entrepreneurs and job opportunities across the country, mm -hmm. all kinds of people in every walk of life. It will also stimulate retail business and boost revenue to governments. Mm -hmm. And the really cool part is it will do all these things at the same time. Really? And we've been developing this program for several years now mm -hmm. and moving down the lane. So, of course, the next obvious question is, how does it do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it uses something that most people, almost everybody is familiar with, and that is a reward program. Mm -hmm. But instead of giving something that maybe you don't need, you get job cash. And you get electronically deposit in your account. And the thing about job cash is, is you cannot use it to buy other stuff. Mm -hmm. right. You can only use it for services. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the idea, and the idea is to be able to get this money out to people who a need it the most, mm -hmm. okay, who can provide services, maybe things they never thought of before, mm -hmm. and it empowers them to become entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in anything. So any type of service that you can think of will will apply. And the, one of the examples we like to use very quickly is, uh, you know, if if you have a problem in your home, let's say your your water heater breaks, mm -hmm. okay. Well, even if you don't have much money, you can do anything you can to get that water heater fixed. Mm -hmm. Whether you've got job cash or not, you're going to want to get water heater mm -hmm. fixed. Okay, Do whatever you can. However, there may be lots of other things around your house that maybe you want to get fixed. Or maybe you need tax advice from an accountant that you mm -hmm. couldn't afford. Well, suddenly you've been building up this money from things that you've been buying anyway. Mm -hmm. So in other words, anything that you're buying, you can get job cash for, and then you can pay it, use it for any services that you want. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is we're putting this together as a model so we can create incentives for retailers to put job cash out there and make this whole formula work. Mm -hmm. So we're getting into our crowdfunding campaign to help raise money for this. And people like Taj and Eddie who have, a, many people don't know this, but they have a great business background. I know mm -hmm. Eddie's got an MBA and Taj's got a degree in marketing. And you know, when you hear about this, how do you react to this? I, I think it's a noble and brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm one to believe that uh, entrepreneurship and innovation is really going to help um, our underserved communities, especially mm -hmm. since we are coming out of probably the worst recession mm -hmm. in U.S. history. And to really get back um, to the uh, getting, creating jobs, stimulating the, the communities, mm -hmm. economically speaking, this is a, a brilliant idea to do that, where you're showing how the government benefits, mm -hmm. how um, uh, the certain retailers benefit, and of course, the consumers. So, in essence, it's beautiful that you're going to pay for products anyway, and as you pay for products, you're building up your coffer in terms of job cash, mm -hmm. and it goes to services, so you're stimulating the economic development in the community. So mm -hmm. everybody wins. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think it's a brilliant, noble idea. So how can it, they're from Nashville, um, mm -hmm. how can it help out their community right. from that perspective? Okay. Yeah. The goal of Job Cash is to become a nationwide program. Mm. So it doesn't matter where you are and where you live. Now we're starting with a pilot program. It's very common for programs like this to start on a state level basis. Mm -hmm. So you can test them out. Most Medicare started that way. For mm -hmm. example, there's lots of programs that are now national government programs that uh, started that way. Now, one thing to understand, this is not a government program. Let's not get lost in right. that. They're part of the you know, process. You know, the, the government is part of the process. The idea is for them to give tax incentives 
to mm -hmm. retailers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if they're going to get a tax break, that will be in direct relationship to the amount of money they're going to put into the marketplace and job cash. Mm -hmm. So the program is to specifically designed to so the government can calculate that we're not just putting money into something or giving somebody a tax break. Mm -hmm. It's specifically directed at the consumers because they will be able to get items at a lesser cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So more items are sold. The retailers get that much more traffic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and states collect that much more sales tax. So they have that aspect to it. Mm -hmm. But they now have less tax to pay on that, but there's a direct relationship so the government can say, okay, this is an ROI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're getting a direct return on our investment right. that can be calculated. And it's been developed for four years. Mm -hmm. And it's the last couple of years it's now come out into this realm. So we are now putting together this crowdfunding campaign mm -hmm. to do all the things that we need to do to get it through the government process. And of course, the overall benefit of all this is mm -hmm. who? The consumer. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know from your background, I remember I read about you and you had a marketing degree. Yes. If you're in, in the marketing, you looked at this, what would you say to people? Would you, would, would you be excited about this? I would be, and I would mm -hmm. definitely encourage them to try it because when you, it, it's almost like if I uh, help you up, you can help someone else up. It's right. just like a, a cause and effect. If, if mm -hmm. I can provide a service for you that you can in turn use towards something else, it, it, it's only beneficial. Mm -hmm. So I, I would definitely, yeah. Will anyone listen to me? I want them to listen to me. <laughs> well, well, from my, my, my wife is, she buys everything in our house. I, I'm mm -hmm. the purchaser. Right? Yeah. So, Talk to me. So <laughs> it, it's, it falls right in, in line with her philosophy in, in terms of being frugal, looking for bargains. Mm -hmm. So therefore, she'll find the right opportunities, buy the products and say, okay, instead of it, us paying for someone to come um, uh, pressure wash the, the mm -hmm. driveway, you know, out of our pockets, it's we use our job cash to get it done. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, and as consumers, it's like, well, I can save on services and begin to save my dollars now, mm -hmm. you know, and, and really try to rebound and come back and and uh, have a true savings plan. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's it's great. Um, great. You know, I'm, I'm just curious to know where are you at in the process now of having the government and all the, the players involved, where are you at right now in having everybody come together and, and, and see the true synergy that's being created here? We have been working on a program to get us down those lanes. So we have political consultants who give us good advice mm -hmm. on, on where to go from a political standpoint, which interestingly enough is actually the last thing that we have to deal that's with. That's the last mm -hmm. thing. Uh, because it's made clear to us that if we can pass the forensic test, as they like to call it. In other words, take the concept and yes, here's the formulas, this does work. If it goes this way, these kinds of things mm. can actually happen. One of the beautiful things about job cash is you can actually do something that you love to do mm -hmm. and make money at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people, whether you're a, whether you're a handyman person or, mm -hmm. or we talked about, or you want to get into business you never thought of, uh, like a companionship for seniors or something, there's mm -hmm. all sorts of things that you can do if you have the ability to do so. Mm -hmm. And that's the environment we're, tr we're trying to create. So it can help me be my own boss? Absolutely. It, it, it's an empowerment thing. Mm -hmm. You really come right down to it. In other words, people can see the light. We always talk mm -hmm. about the light okay. in many different ways. And really the true power of job cash, the underlying thing, is the fact that there will be millions of people getting all kinds of jobs mm -hmm. day in and day out that they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That job creation. Yeah. Job, job, that's where the job creation, and it will work eventually with the Angie's List and the Craigslist mm -hmm. world, so you can put your stuff in there, and people mm -hmm. will find you, and right. you'll be directed yeah. to And what them. I love about this whole idea and the concept is it gives you that financial freedom yes. that we're all looking mm -hmm. to have. I mean, right. And that's, in essence, what we're trying to get uh, our, our community back to, where we're not working paycheck to paycheck, right. where we're not um, just going to a nine to five that we absolutely mm -hmm. hate. You can now uh, be an entrepreneur and attach yourself to your life passions and, and be a businessman and learn the principles of running a business and so forth. Mm -hmm. and, and I think this job create or the job cash is the inroads to living that type of lifestyle. If you if you appropriate if you're diligent about it, mm -hmm. focused on it and, and live to those principles, I think it can definitely happen. Get them to our crowdfunding site at Indiegogo right. and get them to jobcash.org and they can see for themselves you know, you know what they can do. The cash register mm -hmm. at, at the store. Boom 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 you get this right. much cash register, you, you give them your job cash card, it's mm -hmm. wiped in, instantly goes into your account. Mm -hmm. you use the same card to pay the service person. You know, the same yeah. thing. And Simple. to them, when and it comes out to Conceptually, it's a win-win for everybody. Oh, mm -hmm. for, for everybody, every, yeah. everybody wins. 
the consumer wins in, in all the different ways that, that we've described. The retailers win, mm -hmm. again, more traffic, more sales, more sales. How is it that uh, you said that merchandise will be cheaper once we implement the job cash uh, system? Be, yes. how, how does that lower prices? What happens is, is retailers, as I said a moment ago, um, work on very, very slim margin, razor thin, as mm -hmm. it's referred to in the business. Let me give you a real example. If they say, okay, we're, let's say you're Best Buy and you want to give away a million dollars in job cash, mm -hmm. okay? So they, they, they pay job cash for mm -hmm. that million dollars and job cash reserves that for them and it goes, goes through their systems. Well, they're only going to be taxed on 600,000 of that if they're getting, in this example, is, is a 40% tax break, mm -hmm. okay? So now what happens, there's $400,000 that they have to play with mm -hmm. in relative terms that they didn't have before. Mm -hmm. So they, they can do several things with that, but most remarkably, they can take that TV set, in, in this example, that maybe the least they could sell it for was $1,200. Now maybe they can sell it for $1,100 or $1,000. That's mm -hmm. $100 or $200 can make a big difference mm -hmm. to a lot of people whether you can buy something or not. Not right. You right. know, and it allows them the chance to then promote it for less you know, as, as a sale item mm -hmm. and tie it into job cash is you're not only getting the TV cheaper, but you're now getting this $100 in this mm -hmm. example of job cash that you can use to pay for services. Mm -hmm. So that drives more traffic, brings more people in, whether mm -hmm. they're coming into the brick and mortar or they're doing the same thing online. Doesn't mm -hmm. make any difference. So it takes awesome. the pressure off the margin then too. It does. Yeah. It, it does exactly yeah. that. Exactly and that. opens those opens, the, it, opens yeah, those avenues, and it becomes very plottable. And this is why some of the people, the forensic people, the other are so excited. They're, mm -hmm. they're, 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 these people are just freaky number of people. Like it's like, whoa, the <laughs> things that they get yeah. into is beyond anything I could even comprehend. <coughs> but they look at it in, in such interesting ways, mm -hmm. and they, the excitement. We had our we had our first meeting last week, and the excitement was in the room was incredible. It's mm -hmm. whoa, you know, they said, oh, we're going to get into this. This is cool. <laughs> so I have a question. Rich, how do you think the politicians will react to job cash? Well, among its unique qualities, we believe that job cash can actually cause political healing. Mm -hmm. You know, today, as we know, it's just like nobody can agree on anything. Mm -hmm. it, it's, and, and nothing's getting done, nothing's getting accomplished. People aren't being helped where they need to be. Mm -hmm. Job cash is the kind of thing that, because it will help people, the most important thing that we have are our people, and right. will help people in all sorts of ways. It will help business in all sorts of ways, and it will help the government and what it needs, more revenue, so we can do more things. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to fight that. Themselves. Do you think they'll agree? I mean, given I mean this, this great plan is transparent, it shows a win-win, I think they'll agree to disagree, because <laughs> they normally do, but, but honestly, do you think they'll uh, agree? We, with we believe, and this is part of where, why one of the reasons we're doing crowdfunding, is crowdfunding requires a lot of social media interaction. People have got to find you. Uh -huh. So we're hoping in this reconnection that we talked about earlier that by providing this platform for people that it will become ludicrous for any politician to oppose it because mm -hmm. the groundswell of grassroots support mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. is going to be, how can you say no to this? Yeah. Every, everybody wins. And what will happen is, is that ultimately what we'll do with the test dates as part of the plan is that we'll get so many people from both sides of the aisle to sponsor, which is what you have to do mm -hmm. in any case and then we'll go into these test states. But we'll go in there and we'll start proving it out mm -hmm. you know, through those people and then we'll eventually get to a governor's desk, get signed off on, and then gets developed you know, as a program. So Eddie, you have great connection with Ohio and Tennessee. Do you think that those states could use this? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. you know, specifically looking at um, cities like Cleveland, mm -hmm. the struggling. Um, yeah. Looking at Columbus, there's certain parts of Columbus, definitely Nashville, certainly Memphis could also benefit oh, from this. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you know, having gone to business school and have a business myself that a landscape architecture firm that um, uh, provides a service, mm -hmm. it's a great way for us to continue to have our doors open mm -hmm. and to pro provide our service, marketing and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, an, it's a noble idea. I think it will work. So what's the next step? Our next step is to get people to help fund us. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need people to, to donate money, $5, $10, whatever they can do. Mm -hmm. And even if they can't donate money, in any case, spread the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll see on our website something we call Operation Wildfire. Mm -hmm. And Operation Wildfire is really that program. It's mm -hmm. a social media program. It's got all the links to it. Those are get the word out. Let people see what it is and say, this is a good idea. This is something that's worthwhile. This is mm -hmm. something that could be beneficial. This is something where everybody can gain and nobody can lose. Mm -hmm. How often do you have that type of enterprise? Mm -hmm. and, and you, you simply don't. 
and ultimately will be a nonprofit and all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And it's run by private industry. It is not a government program. It's mm -hmm. an important thing for people to remember. Mm -hmm. and, yes. right. You know, the government is there to assist, mm -hmm. to make it a little more viable, but they don't run it. Mm -hmm. We do. So they can't yeah. dictate it and right. control it. Yeah. Good. Well, it really seems like you have a win-win. I mean, win-win okay. for businesses, for the consumers, for the government. It seems like you've got a winner here. That's what we think, and it's nice <laughs> to hear. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the goal, and it's nice to hear the support of the Georges. We really appreciate that, and uh, we hope that other people will look into this and say, "Yeah, I, I, I'd give a couple dollars to make this happen." And hopefully, mm -hmm. we have a, a, a timeline mm -hmm. that uh, within a year, six months to a year, we will be in a state legislature or two, mm -hmm. and working down those lanes. And once we make that happen, six months a year from now, that will put us in position to uh, get on the federal level. Right. Oh, There's yeah. lots of things that, that are beyond politics, mm -hmm. you know, and that's also the part, of, part of the crowdfunding right. is getting the proper legal minds to look at with have tax experience, the financial people that understand how to put these things together mm -hmm. uh, and the formulas, as I mentioned earlier, so everything can be proved out. So when it goes to uh, a state, what they're going to do, they're going to take all our stuff and they say, this sounds good, and then mm -hmm. they're going to give it to their financial people. Mm -hmm. Where they're going to take all our formulas and, all, and they're going to figure it out for themselves, mm -hmm. no matter what we do. Right. But that's fine. That's fine because if our ducks are in a row, and they will be, mm -hmm. I guarantee you that, then they're going to get, come up to the same conclusions, and that's why we want multiple universities. Because mm -hmm. you can have two of the same things, and people can be totally different, but if you put mm -hmm. the minds together, mm -hmm. you will find out, because we will find errors, we will find problems. Well, we can't do this, but we can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where we want to be. We're not just going to go and take this concept and throw it at somebody. We need mm -hmm. to have it totally proven out mm -hmm. that it's more than an idea, it'll work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds Great truly concept. innovative, right? Mm -hmm. yes. I've never heard anything anywhere near this. So I'm excited for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 All right, you uh, too. Why? That was very uh, interesting, it wasn't was. it? Yes, it was. It yes, was. It was. I learned a lot today. Yeah, well, it seems yes. like no matter who you are, everyone's going to have a benefit from Job Cash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It appears that way, yeah, mm -hmm. we definitely. If you, I mean, I run a small business on the side, so, so I benefit understand. from it, yep. yeah. But also, I'm a consumer, so that so would work out. We're, we're consumers, we also yes. have a business, so yeah. I, I see the benefits behind it, but, yeah. you know, like in anything else, you know, it, it's ha it has its challenges, but. Mm -hmm. I think with the proper guidance, the right funding, and people will see the value in it, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll definitely reach their goals. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now you too have so much going on. You have a reality show coming up that you can talk a little bit about. I, I, I wouldn't bit. call it a reality oh, show. It's okay. just a really nice project that we're okay. working on that'll <laughs> probably be seen this fall. Okay, good, good. So we can be on the look look out for that, right? Yeah, yeah. You can definitely be on the lookout for that. It's a, it's a. It's a great little project about my, my group, Sisters with Voices, oh, SWV, you yeah. know, uh, yeah. It'll be um, maybe this fall, mm -hmm. it'll be on a, I guess, broadcast worldwide, okay, nationwide good. at least. And you'll keep but us updated on Twitter you, uh, and all absolutely. Facebook and everything that you're on. That's absolutely. good. Now, you are an architect. A landscape architect. Landscape architect, yes. which is, you know, so the opposite of the sports world. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I mean, it, that's a daily business that you do? Yeah, the Edge Group, uh, we have two offices, or a couple of offices, um, one in Nashville, which, mm -hmm. which is one of our main ones, and one in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, have, where it uh, originated. Where it originated. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, uh, seven different partners. Mm -hmm. I started wow. this back in 2003. Mm -hmm. um, it's a major that I studied at Ohio, Ohio yeah, State for. Yeah, at Ohio State. I, I, originally, I wanted to become an architect, mm -hmm. but the time constraints with class and, mm -hmm. and, and working out didn't allow me to do it. Yeah. But a major that was along the same lines as architecture, was landscape architecture, mm -hmm. gave me some more flexibility, not a lot, but a little bit, yeah. to get it done. And it uh, was very challenging mm -hmm. to do that. You know, being in studio for, you know, uh, uh, eight to ten hours a, a day, Mm -hmm. and then going to work out, I mean, I had very little time to party and, yeah. and be a student, you know, and have well, fun. Well, that's good. I mean, you <laughs> I mean, know. By my, my grades didn't, didn't, were not the greatest. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> tough to balance all that. It was that very is. tough, but I, I found a way to get it done. I got mm -hmm. a degree, and I said, hey, you know what? Um, I have uh, 
uh, political connections. Mm -hmm. I have some business resources. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> Excuse me. And I had a passion to start a business. Mm -hmm. And I said, how can I do it? And it was my first business and I learned a lot. Yeah. The, the hardships <sighs> of partnerships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, um, uh, been through a, a merger, mm -hmm. um, the change of, of culture, mm -hmm. um, been through a tough economic downturn and really had to be uh, creative in terms of how do we create money and you know, right. keep our doors open. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to cut calls. So I learned a lot mm -hmm. about the inf how to run the infrastructure of a business of being lean and mean and, and not, you know, um, living beyond your business means. Right. And that, mm -hmm. and that was key. Mm -hmm. And uh, learned a lot of valuable lessons and I take that with me. I mean, mm -hmm. I st I'm still affiliated with the firm, mm -hmm. uh, but now I'm seeking other uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah in the entrepreneurial space, yes. Well, you are also an author. Mm -hmm. Your new book is out. Yeah, this is fantastic. Real. Thank you. So how long did it take to write? About four months. Four months? It didn't Roughly. take us long. Really, that's yeah. not long when at all. When you're writing about things that you absolutely know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. the words come quickly. There's mm -hmm. been plenty of times when I've had to write articles or, or write about something, and I sit at my computer for about 20 minutes and I'll mm -hmm. write three lines. Right? Because you can't <laughs> get those there. words to come out. But when you're writing about something that you're passionate about, mm -hmm. that you know from uh, you beginning to end, yeah, it's our mm -hmm. life. So it was very easy to put it down on paper and express mm -hmm. it the way we wanted to. And we both wrote separately. I didn't mm -hmm. write with him, he didn't write with me, and I didn't tell him what to say. Mm -hmm. we, we, of course, kept our thoughts differently, but when we put them together, mm -hmm. they were just alike. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's incredible. I am so happy that you came on the show. You guys well, have so much you. to offer. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, well, if you'd like to see more C Shop TV episodes, you can click the subscribe button right here on this page. And if you would like to see your favorite celebrities on our show, just put it in the comments below who you'd like to see on C Shop TV. Mm -hmm.